Have you ever noticed how some traffic signals have a longer yellow light than others? Let's talk about how the yellow change interval is calculated. There's actually no national standard on how to time yellow lights, but many traffic authorities use an equation. Having a calculated yellow time is important because it allows drivers enough time to decide whether to stop or keep going upon seeing a yellow light. Too short and you'll have many drivers running the red light. Too long and drivers will get used to going through yellow lights instead of stopping when it's safe to do so. All right, so this is the kinematic equation. It looks scary, but let's go through it. Y is the yellow time that we're looking for. In Connecticut, that'll be a minimum of three seconds, no matter what. T is the human reaction time, one second. And V is the speed of the road, either the posted speed limit, or many engineers actually use the speed limit plus seven to account for speeding drivers. Yep, that's right. Unsafe drivers are now dictating our signal timings. Continuing on, little a is the deceleration of a vehicle, big G is the acceleration due to gravity, and little g is the grade of the road. It's gonna be easier to stop on an uphill than on a downhill, so the yellow doesn't have to be as long. Let's say you have a 35 mile per hour road, plug in all your numbers in feet per second, and there is your yellow time.